Gearbox and engine is finally together, and now it's time to drop them into the car with the headers. engine in the car. Thought we'd better just whip on the uh, new gearbox, the new gearbox mount while we're at it. Not quite in yet. Need a little bit more room because the jack is right up against the front. We need to go back a little bit further. So close. We need to get those half on. on. Engine mounts are slid on, finally. Let me have a look at this side. Oh, yours isn't on at all. No, but it's lined up though. Okay. I've just got to lower it down, but it should be okay. I need to bring it back this way a bit. Okay, that's probably better. There we go. One engine mount done. Oh, I hope you can still get the bloody steering on. Right up. Yes, this will do it. Okay, go on then. Maybe if you can just give it a bit of a wriggle, maybe. More ship than go. What's all that? There's all the springs and shocks that came out of my car. So the engine is uh, back half out of the car. I had to jack it up again so that I could. Uh, Attend to a few things, which I'll show on the list in a second. Uh, one of those while I'm here though, is to uh, put the starter motor wiring down the bottom here, bolted on, spade connector goes in there. Impossible to do it once it's in the car with the headers on and everything. Um, so I'll do the alternator as well. So things to remember before you actually uh, put the engine in for the final time. Put a spark plug back in the back that I took out because the header was hitting it and I thought I could just do it later, but I can't, no room. Steering rack, again, no room, so that's gonna be tricky. I'll wait for Dad to help me out with that one. Definitely a two-man job or even three-man. Head of gaskets, always good. So oil cooler, I'll do that now. And I've bought one, I'll show you. Shift to the location, that's gonna be okay. It's gonna be pretty pretty close to the body, but that'll be all right. Uh, as a starter motor wiring I've just done, and yeah, I've, I've had a quick look at where the hydraulic clutch reservoir is gonna sit. Maybe I'll paint the chassis rail as well, which is a little bit missing. Um, on the other side, I'll show you that soon, but that's a bracket to make the clutch master cylinder bracket fit. Whilst I waited for a hand with the steering rack, I moved on to making a bracket for the clutch master cylinder. Uh, I think I might let the drill cool down a bit. Okay, painting that to give us an impression and we put our nifty plate in if we could roll onto that one a little bit see if that left an impression or not see our little grey mark that's where we're going to drill a hole it's a bit rough but so it's got a little bit of a bend in it to suit the firewall so that sits in there and I've sort of put it to the bottom so that it covers up a little bit of the old clutch cable hole. So the idea is we'll bolt that on there and then we'll slide the whole unit onto the firewall and use the existing holes here and here to uh, bolt it on. But because I'm not 100% sure I've got the right bolt holes lined up, we're just going to ream them out a bit, make them a little bit bigger than they need to be with the step drill and hopefully it all lines up. So we'll see you shortly. That's uh, the drawing I did, and this was the reality of what actually came about. Um, so I had to drill out this bit bigger to uh, fit the bolt. It wasn't quite working, but it just fits now, so that's all right. It's a tiny bit more bend, but it's pretty much good to go. I'll bolt it all up now.
another Saturday working on the car. The only plan for today is get that engine in and bolted with the steering rack. It takes us four hours, it takes us four hours, but we'll get there. Maybe it is, maybe it's too far in. One side in. I'm not sure what you can do. Passenger side's but... bolted in, but not the driver's side that's hanging with some straps. Alright, so steering rack's in. Just need to manipulate the headers now. Past, got to get the engine back this way and sort of sitting a bit further back. Then we can push the headers forward at the same time or something. Let's see how we go. Lower it a little bit. Just lower it a bit and then we'll jack it. Yep, that'll, that'll help I think. Well it moved a lot anyway. So after having the engine all in the right spots, just got to finish putting headers on and drop the engine. Hopefully it goes onto the mounts there. Put the uh, exhaust gasket on as well, and then we just got to do the other side. Well, finally, a bit of success after a long day. It's taken us pretty much all day. Started at nine, it's like four o'clock now or something. And we've got the engine all bolted in. So I suppose the process we went through for those of you trying to do it yourself at home, was we started with the engine half out and then we had all the headers loose. This one was sort of a bit tighter on the passenger side, pretty loose on the driver's side. We've got the steering rack in and then we sort of manipulate or drop the engine down a bit you play the headers on and off uh, on the driver's side. Then I suppose we got the engine mounts in, mainly on this side, and that was a little of up and down and left and right and all that, as you've seen. Uh, and then we realized we hadn't put the power steering lines in, so we then had to put this engine mount in and took this one out, levered the engine up, so that we had a little bit more room, unbolted the steering rack so we could just move that a little bit. Tried to get the lines in and in the end they were too long, too hard to manipulate in because it was a big bloody lots of S curves and whatever. So we chopped it in half where we can easily join it with some rubber hose underneath like the K-frame area. So we tried to then thread in the power steering lines and we couldn't because the headers were still in the way and the angle was too tight. So what we did was got the protein blowtorch, heated it up, bent it in a little bit more of an angle and that way we did that to both of them and yeah then we could finally get them in when you have about two fingers room to work with so from the side or through the headers up and down like a snake trying to get it in uh, so that took probably two hours by itself um, including a trip to Bunnings of course for some more propane which we didn't need but anyway got that in, got the header in, dropped the engine back down, got the engine mount in and now we've just finished doing this side, the header. Uh, oh, and of course we put in the steering linkage as well, and the knuckle there, that wasn't too difficult. Uh, but yeah, all good. Well done. We finally got the engine in, and the power steering rack, and the headers. All the engine mounts in, just the gearbox one to go. I didn't think that was going to happen today, after yeah. that bloody shit we went through this morning. How long did it take us? About six hours today? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's done now. Yep, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah,